Hi there. Hope you have a fantastic day today. This lesson, I will teach you how to calculate the cost for buying and selling shares. Of course, there is a PDF file version on the description below for you to download so you can work with me. Otherwise, let's go straight into it. When buying shares, you need to pay for the number of shares that you buy plus the transaction fees. So the transaction fee in this case is called brokerage fees. When you're selling shares, the same thing happened. So you get the amount of money that you sold for and you less the, the transaction fees. That is brokerage fees. Let's check it out how they charge in buying and selling shares. So come sec fees. So this is the one, that's how they charge. Let me just copy this table first. This is how they charge when you sell or buy shares. So first of all, now if you with them, with Comsec, for example, so CDIA, so that is direct investment account, or you have Comsec margin loan account, okay? So this is the first thing, and if you sell or buy that less than $1,000, that including 1000 so you only pay $10 per transaction. Or if you sell over 1000 and less than $10,000, that is including $10,000, you pay $19.95. Or if you sell or buy between this amount, that is $10,000 and $25,000, you pay $29.95. Or if you sell or buy shares that over $25,000, you need to pay 0.12%, okay? Keep that in mind. If you have any other bank account, so you're gonna trade through that. So you need to pay $29, which is less than $10,000. And and if you above $10,000, that means you need to pay 0.31%. That is a lot higher because you're not with Comsec. Or you can buy share over the phone. So you can ring them up and you can um, place the order and then they can buy it for you. And these are the fees. So it's the same process, but it's a lot higher. That's all. So let's just go through a few examples. This table is showing the market price for selling and buying shares. Okay. In this case, this is Telstra. Okay. And it's not live. So when it's live, these numbers are changed. This number here. Okay. It changed by seconds, okay? So, but it's not live at the moment. And um, I just copy and paste from internet, that's all. So by looking at this, the seller want to sell at $4.15. So if you want to buy Telstra now, you have to pay $4.15. Unless you want to wait and uh, set the price that you want to pay for, and then you just wait, okay? And it could hit your target or it could miss, okay? Depend on the, the market price. Now, if you want to sell your share, for instance, okay, the buyer, this is buyer, and buyer wanting to buy your shares at $4.14. So if you want to sell immediately and you're desperate for money, you can sell straight away at $4.14. This is where the buyer willing to pay for that price, okay? Otherwise, you can set your price like $5 or $4.16 or $4.15, in this case here, see $4.15 is a market price. They're willing to sell their share at this price. Okay, $4.20, $4.21 and so on. And then if you set the price higher to sell, you just have to wait, okay, until your turn. Unless you want to sell immediately, you jump the queue and you can sell at this price, $4.14. Okay, so let's just go through a couple examples. Let's say I have Comsec account and I, I want to buy 240 shares at market price. That is $4.15. So if I want to buy that and it hit instantly because that is the market price. So therefore, we need to work out how much I need to pay for. So first of all, I need to work out each unit is or each shares is $4.15 and I buy 240. So just time 240 first, okay? So that will give me, so just go 415 times 240. 
So that is $996. But then I need to pay for the broker's fees as well. So let's say I have Comsec account, okay, for instance. So we just focus on this. Let's say I have this account. So therefore, I need to pay. First of all, I look at the how much I need to pay for the shares. $900. So that is less than 1000 So therefore, I only need to pay $10 for the broker's fees. So let me just write this down. So total will give me nine nine six plus ten dollars so that will give me so nine hundred ninety six plus ten so a thousand and six dollars so there you go that this is how much i have to pay for if i buy 240 telstra shares so let's go through second example so let's say i want to place an order that is nine thousand five hundred telstra shares at the price of $4.16. So I place an order. So once you place an order, they will put your order on the list, depend the price that you set. Like for example, if you set $4.16, so your shares will go to this row here. So you set in here, okay? So let me just quickly go through this. And these are the number of investor that's willing to sell the price at $4.16. And let's say if I place that order and I, I will be one of them. Okay, that will be on the list. Okay, so to work out how much I receive when selling 9,500 shares. Okay, so if it hit that price, that means I will sell my shares. Okay, so I know that I so sell my shares at this price. Okay, and then for one unit. So for 9,500 shares, 9,500 units if you like. So to work out how much I get. So let me just work it out. So 4.16 times 9,500 shares. So that is $39,520. So $39,520. That is how much I receive. But then I need to pay for the broker's fees. And my share is just under 40000 So under 40000 and assume that I'm with Comsec. So we're just using this. If you have different account, you have to use this. So it just depends which bracket you're in, okay? So just let you know, we just focus on the first brackets. And the other brackets is the same process, it's just different price, that's all. So 40,000, just under 40,000, that is over 25,000. So that means I need to pay 0.12%, okay? For the broker's fees. So the broker's fees are 0.12%, percent min per hundred I times by thirty nine thousand five hundred and twenty dollars so I just go answer times zero point one two percent min per hundred so over hundred so there you go so I have to pay forty seven dollars and forty two cents we're dealing with money so it's two decimal place so forty seven forty two so that is $47.42. That is the broker's fees. So therefore, the total that I receive, so that is $39,520 less the broker's fees. That's how much I receive, okay? After selling 9,500 shares. So, so now I just put down on a calculator, three, 9520 less the answer. So that is $39,472.58. So there you go. Please pause the video and try this one yourself. Hi, I'm back. How do you go? So let me go through it with you, okay? Before I do that, please do not forget to give me a thumb up and subscribe if you haven't done so, so you can help me to grow my channel. So first of all, we need to work out how much Luca need to pay for 145 shares. So let me just write it down. So one share will cost him $48.80. And then we times by 145 shares. 
because each shares is cost $48.80. So I just go 48.8 times 145. So there you go, $7,076. Now he need to pay for the broker's fee. So the fees is because it's under 10,000 and greater than 1,000. So therefore, he only need to pay $19.95. So the total he need to pay for is $7,076.19.95. So I just go answer plus 19.95. So there you go. So $7,095.95. 95 cents so this is it please pause the video and try this one yourself hi i'm back how do you go so let me go through it with you okay so first of all we know that sarah okay is paid for a hundred and two dollars and sixty eight cents for each shares okay then she bought this much okay so therefore we just go 102 dollars and 68 cents we times 348 units or shares if you like so 102.68 times 348 so there you go 35,000 seven hundred and thirty two dollars and sixty four cents now she need to pay for the broker's fees so the fees is zero point one two percent because it's over twenty five thousand dollars so the fees is zero point one two percent times thirty five thousand seven hundred and thirty two dollars and sixty four cents so I just go answer times 0.12 percent percent mean per hundred okay so there you go forty two dollars and eighty eight cents okay so now the total amount that she has to pay so just write total So I just put that on a calculator. So just go answer plus. So there you go. So that is $35,775.52. There you go. I hope you got it correct. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.